welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're a first time viewer my name is rich and we are back in the keys and uh, i just put the kayak in the water here on the outer keys kind of near sugarloaf key and we're in a spot that uh, i've never seen before until today and uh, i checked it out on the map literally like two days ago and made the decision last night when we were driving here uh, we left uh, palm city florida at uh, like 2 a.m to drive here and get here for first light to get out and uh, do this fishing mission. And I'm gonna be here for today and tomorrow and possibly one other day, but uh, I'm just gonna send it and uh, see what we can learn in this area. Our ultimate goal is to try and get on a bonefish bite or at least get one bonefish bite. And I've only ever caught one bonefish and I was at a spot like five miles uh, north of here. And uh, we're gonna head to the west from the ramp here and uh, it looked good. Uh, there's a bunch of mangrove islands that way and a bunch of flats. And uh, if the bone fishing mission doesn't pan out, then uh, I've also got uh, my live well here with the cast net. So maybe we can cast net some bait for uh, tarpon or snook. I also got some artificials that'll work for snook or tarpon. And uh, we're just gonna make a day of it and uh, hopefully uh, learn a lot and have some fun and uh, make an entertaining video for you guys. So stay tuned, let's uh, get after it. All right, look how beautiful it is out here. This is a perfect day, I think, to uh, try and do this kind of fishing, especially if uh, we have an opportunity to sight fish some bonefish on the flats uh, because all the other times that I've fished for bonefish it's always been honking and really windy and uh, the one and only one that I've caught I got on the blind cast so I was real lucky and uh, I, you know I'm, I'm sure that we might have to blind cast some today but if we can at least like see where they're hanging out we can learn a lot and also possibly witness uh, one of these elusive fish uh, eating our baits that would be so cool and uh, the islands that we're heading to uh, are about a mile still away so we've got a nice little workout ahead of us uh, and the reason I'm heading to those islands because um, so we've got this one channel that uh, goes out to those islands and uh, this is like the mainland key right here and uh, those islands are like on the very tip of uh, the key and on the other side of this key uh, there's another channel so those islands uh, sit on top of uh, a big flat and uh, the, the two channels split on each side of the islands and on the flat and then there's another little channel that cuts through the islands and the flats so uh, being that uh, we now are getting some outgoing water which is going to start going that way I think uh, we just have to lie and wait there and hope that uh, the tide brings us some hungry fish. All right, just made it along this first island. And I'm up really shallow, just using the paddle to push me along. And uh, I kind of want to just go through the shallows along the mangroves all the way out to the tip of the island. And uh, I want to do it like this so that if uh, there are any bonefish here, maybe we'll at least see one and then that'll be a good indication that uh, we have a chance of catching some here oh got a little bonnethead shark here see him real small one Oh, look at that. Oh, a shark and a bunch of little jacks. That was kind of cool. All right, we just about made it to the tip of this island now. And we've got some good bottom, lots of grass, which uh, I know bonefish like to dig around in the grass for crabs and shrimp. And uh, a little bit out from the tip of the island uh, it drops off into the, the channel that splits like this so I think there should be something at least on this flat or out uh, on the edge where it drops off 
I'm going to put the paddles down for a sec. And I'm going to start off casting around this little two inch voodoo shrimp. I got a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I'm going to put some of this shrimp procure on it. So it has a lot of flavor. All right, I'm going to just start taking a few blind casts because we may not even be able to see the bonefish. You know, they're considered like the ghosts of the flats. And what is this? Oh my gosh, three bonefish right here. Three bonefish. They followed the little voodoo. I know there's four of them. Oh my gosh. And they're still right here. Let's see if we can get them to eat. Oh no, they're spooked. They are spooked. Dang it. But uh, I'm stoked we just saw four of them. That's insane. They followed the little voodoo in, but then I think they saw me and they got a little wary and they didn't want to eat. All right, let's keep it going. Fish on. Oh, not a bonefish. Just a little mangrove snapper. Well, at least we're not getting skunked. All right, well, we fished for like another 20 minutes in the same area where we saw those uh, four bonefish and caught the mangrove. And uh, I did catch this little dinky lane snapper. And uh, now I wanna go to the other side of this flat and uh, the other side of the island and try. And uh, if we don't see any bonefish or catch one, then I think I'm gonna move out to uh, those islands out there and uh, see if we can find some out there that are uh, willing to eat. You know, what's interesting is just like a short little move on the other side of the flat, the water is like an entirely different color and uh, we've got a lot more seagrass. Check this out. A shark cruising right up to the kayak. <laughs> Looks like another fish right here, but something much smaller. It could be a bonefish. Oh, the shark is circling me. He's checking me out. Probably waiting for me to throw some bait in the water or something. He's literally circling me. Or he's just waiting for me to catch a fish. All right, well, another 20, 30 minutes have passed and uh, just another mangrove snapper. So uh, we're gonna move to another uh, chain of islands and uh, hopefully we have better luck there. I'll see you there. This looks ridiculously good. There's a small little island here with a cut between this bigger island. And then there's actually like two other like inlet, like man-made cuts it looks like that uh, go through the big island. And this is just all a big flat and the current's coming through right here. So let's start casting away. Oh, I see one cruising right here. He's looking at it. He's looking at it. Oh, he's spooked. Dang it. That was cool. That was awesome. Dang it. I saw him flash on it, but something just wasn't right. He didn't eat it. You know, if I had a live shrimp, it would have been game over. All right, well, kind of cool. This is uh, one of the cuts that goes through this big island. A lot of structure right there that I bet you has a lot of snapper on it. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of snapper right here.
There he is. All right, now let's see if we can pull something out of this little uh, cut. It looks really deep. Oh, I see a more sizable snapper. Might have to try and catch him. Oh, there he is. Not the bigger one, but I uh, got this little schoolmaster snapper, which is cool. So another species to add to the list for today. Oh, yeah. All right, it's not a bad mangrove. It's probably just uh, about a keeper. But let's uh, keep on moving. I don't want to catch too many of those snappers, otherwise they're just going to tear up the voodoo shrimp. Oh no. Got a little cuda. These guys will also tear up our voodoo. Yep, just like this one did. All right, this next spot we're gonna drift over is gonna be loaded with bonefish and we're gonna catch one. It looks so good. I can't believe that we saw four like right away in our first spot and now it's just been a blank. It gave me such high hopes for the day or for the morning. Fish on. Oh, juvenile mutton snapper. Oh, check this out. Drifting over a nurse shark. And uh, it has its head like hiding under some coral. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I bet he thought he was like camouflaging. <laughs> Oh, fish on. Oh, I don't think it's a bonefish though. It looks like a little jack species. Oh, he's freaking out now. There we go. Oh, I think, uh, this is a yellow jack. Beautiful fish. Crushed the little voodoo. I actually saw him and a buddy of his swimming across the flat and just turned on the camera real quick and threw it right on top of him. All right, well, let's keep it going. I'm not giving up uh, on catching a bonefish until the sun starts to set. There's a fish. Oh my gosh. It's ripping. Could this be a bonefish? Oh man. It might be a bonefish. Oh gosh. Please stay hooked. Please stay hooked. Woo baby. Yeah. You gotta love those ripping runs. Oh man. Oh no way. I just saw a big shark come in and try to chase my, my fish. I don't know where he went, but he, he went that way towards him. If I see him coming after my fish, he's right there. Oh man. If I see him coming after my fish, I'm gonna then just loosen the drag and let him run.
being this fish hasn't cut me off yet. I don't think it's a cuda. Oh yeah, it's a bonefish. It's a bonefish. Yeah! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Heck yeah. Fishing, mission accomplished. <clears throat> Give you a closer look at this beautiful bonefish and i'm just gonna pop out the little voodoo shrimp here it is oh what a gorgeous fish almost became shark food and wasn't sure if we were gonna be able to catch one today but we got him. There he goes. Whew, heck yeah, let's go. I was uh, getting a little discouraged and I, I was really starting to doubt whether or not we were gonna get a bonefish today because uh, I've spent so many uh, hours piercing my eyes into this water up on the flat here and seeing the, you know, the few fish that I did and not catching them which was a downer and then also probably knowing that there was bonefish on the flat swimming all around me but uh, i just wasn't able to see them because i don't think we can get up high enough standing in the kayak and uh, my feet started hurting standing up so much my legs are getting burned look at this pant layer of spf 70 sunscreen that i got on my legs just to prevent myself from getting too burnt out here and uh, we came to this uh, island point right here and this is like right on the edge of the flat and uh, I saw the incoming current just sweeping by and I was like, we've got to take a, a cast out there just right off into the channel and it's like slightly deeper water. Like right here, it's three feet out there. It was about like four or five. And um, we hopped that shrimp just right along the bottom, let it swing in the current and uh, that bonefish slammed it. And uh, I was a little worried it may have been a cuda because I saw a cuda like 15, 20 inches. It was like right below the surface, uh, right in the same area. And the cuda disappeared and then we got the bite and uh yeah i am so stoked that it wasn't a cuda and it was a bone and uh, i'm also happy that we did not get sharked because there was a shark that was swimming around uh and he and i think he was getting a little bold trying to take my bone fish but uh we fought that fish right got him in the net and uh, my day's made and we learned something now uh i'm gonna keep fishing a little bit longer it's uh 3 p.m i'll probably maybe hit you know hit that the island point over there hit this one again and uh, give it like two or three more hours and see if we can get another and uh, hopefully learn even more so let's keep going all right well before we start casting again i just want to get this uh shallow water anchor in the bottom because i want to try sitting here on the spot for a little bit and cast in without uh having the wind and current push us off the spot That time a cuda got me. And the sad part is I'm down to my last little voodoo shrimp. 
I lost like four or five today. Well, that was the first one that I like lost from getting cut off, but the others all got chewed up by snappers or cuda. So, yeah, our odds are stacked against us to get one more. Fish on. Oh no. It's a little cuda. And ah, there goes our last voodoo. I really can't believe how many we lost today or just they got tore up. All right, well, big update for you. That was sad that uh, we just got cut off. Uh, the last two times in a row by kudas and you know we were, we're out of uh, our bonefish baits and uh, it's actually about like two hours after that last cut off now I, I spent uh, the last two hours fishing my way back throwing uh, the little Yozuri and uh, had a couple follows from uh, some sharks um, some medium-sized kuda caught uh, this larger size mangrove uh, snapper on a dock and um, yeah, it was pretty much about it. Uh, all in all, uh, it uh, was a good day because we got our targeted species, but uh, it's a shame that uh, the same thing happened today uh, that happened the last time I caught my bonefish, and that was caught the bonefish, think that I think that I'm onto something, and um, you know, before I can like dial in and, and get another bonefish, then uh, the kudas <laughs> whack. Uh, my, my bait my voodoo shrimps off the, the line and uh, I, you know I, I guess I'll just have to start bringing more of those and also maybe bringing some hair jigs and uh, I did buy some hair jigs but I forgot them at home uh, and you know and that's what happens when you uh, plan a last second trip to the Keys or just any last second fishing trip uh, or for me at least usually I always forget something when I'm rushing and literally last night uh, I decided to come to the Keys at like 8 p.m. so I like loaded up the truck quick and got like two three hours sleep and woke up at like 1 a.m., hit the road at 2, and uh, that grogginess that uh, I had this morning uh, made me forget the, the bag of jigs right in the counter. And uh, I could have also brought live shrimp, which probably would have worked really well for the bonefish, but uh, I didn't want to bring the bait. I, you know, it would have been a hassle trying to keep it alive. I mean, I do have a bubbler and a well and everything, but uh, you know, I, I feel like I also would have just like been fighting with the little fish chewing the, the live shrimp off the hook. So, you know, I kept it simple with uh, the voodoo shrimps because I know they work. And uh, they're a deadly, uh, you know, imitation uh, shrimp uh, lure. And uh, yeah, the next time I come out, I'm bringing like 10 or 12 or so. And uh, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully, that will do a little bit better. So uh, stay tuned if you guys enjoyed uh, and hit the subscribe button and that like button. And until the next video, live to fish, fish to live.